for you. <coughs> okay, the first thing I want to say is make sure you speak up. So what's the piece? We'll be playing Thank you. Thank you. And I would like Who who wants it? I want Who? Let's have Yes. Okay, notebook. I'm gonna be a stickler with you on this and so is Aaron. Oh in fact, let's just initiate the Sam rule. Okay, <laughs> if if the conductor, even me, not in we're not something well. Yeah. Do it when that's all, it'll be fine. Because it'll be good. You can keep me, keep me uh, honest. If I conduct, don't do it with anybody else, though. Like if we're in here, Dr. Bruce, do the white line. Um, it'd be funny, but just for a second. Um, <laughs> right. So if in here, if, if, if a conductor says I or me or my, anything about the conductor, just say that word back to them. I. And don't do it in a mean way. But. Say it immediately, and that, that will help us all get over those things. So us, we, let's. These are all really good words to use that are unifying words. They have to do with everybody together. OK, so let's take two. All right. <laughs> OK. Let's have flutes and clarinets on the top line. Um, violins, let's have you on the alto line. And Okay, she just said I and nobody said it back. So they are sounding like you look. So open up more, take more of a breath. And if it doesn't sound good, stop right away and address what you're hearing. Okay. Mandy, is it cool if I just play the alto one? So you showed a crescendo, they didn't really respond. You didn't respond to them not responding. So then there's a, there's a, a you know, Erin, I want you to work with her on response. Okay, so here's the beginning, and away we go again. Travel more, breathe more, be bigger than you think you should right now, and that will help them to play with a better tone. She's gonna talk talk to you as you conduct, and that's and that's fine. Okay. Oh yes, you're fine. You're doing fine. It's okay. It's okay. Do 
Yeah, it's overwhelming. It is. Notebook. I don't know if you guys ever thought about this, but as a conductor conducts, there's a thousand things that they're listening to and thinking about and taking in and responding to at one time. So take a second and I want you to write those things, what those things are. What are those things that you think a conductor are listening to? What is the conductor responding to, thinking about, all those things. So let's share some ideas. And if you have something that, uh, if someone says something that you don't have, well, mind it. So, what are some things that a conductor is thinking about listening to? Please. They're working on blending and balancing. Something. Okay, blending and balancing. That's something only the conductor can do. Uh, tone. Tone. What else? Intonation. Intonation. What else? Eye contact. Eye contact. Good, because if the conductor has really good eye contact, but the players or the singers don't have the eye contact coming back at the conductor, then it's not working. What else? Rhythmic accuracy. Okay, rhythmic accuracy. Okay, good. Comparing what people are playing and what they want to be Yeah, that's huge. It kind of goes back to the, the first idea. Comparing what is actually being played with the desired sound. Uh, H. Robert Reynolds, one of my mentors, talks about every piece that he conducts, he has a visual representation of the piece. It's like a, a statue. It's like a statue. It has a particular height and weight and color and texture and temperature. And every single piece that he conducts, he has a really clear oral image of it. But sometimes that oral image changes because when he conducts an ensemble, his ideas change because he likes their ideas more than he likes their, his own. It doesn't happen a lot, but it happens sometimes. OK, what else? Other ideas? OK, how about responding? And that's what we're working with Mandy on, is responding. And here's why. If the conductor responds to what he or she is hearing from the ensemble, <coughs> then the conductor trains the ensemble to respond more to the conducting. Make sense? OK, so let's try again. <clears throat> yeah, just take a deep breath. We're all in this together. We're learning from you. We're learning from everybody. Okay. First of all, some really good words to use, and if you use it with a loud voice, so everybody hears. <coughs> Exaggerate what you see. This is one phrase. Another is respond, and all of these are with loud voices so that everybody in the group can hear, even if you're, they're playing fortissimo. During a crescendo, I'm, I sometimes say, here, and I'm showing the crescendo, and they're not responding, which, does, which I don't like. So I say, here, and that, that, first of all, that gets their attention. It's like, 
and then they can see the crescendo, and then they can see where the crescendo is going. And that's kind of what I did with you, because you're showing a crescendo, but they weren't responding. So what I want you to do is, is kind of take it personally. Uh, it's not really good. <coughs> kind of take it personally if you're conducting something, and, the, and there's no response, and you're being very clear, which you are. So take it personally, and it'll look like, really? But first of all, they have to be looking. For, you know, and this is the first time that they're playing this piece. So that's another reason to be a little bit bigger, so that they can see you really well peripherally. Peripherally. Okay? Great. Comments from Andy, please. Comments, please. You can call them by name. Thank you very much. Andres.